Hey guys, uh, mailbag's coming up in about four minutes. I'm going to turn my mic off until then. All right, hello everybody. It's just about time for mailbag. <clears throat> I think I'm here early enough to check the camera angles and the mic. So let's see. Hi Ari. Hi buddy. Okay. Well, it is time now. And I guess everything looks basically all right. About the best I can do. Hey, bud. All right. So um, let's start with whatever might be news, which um, let's see. This week we brought teaspoon and um, uh, nibbles. Was it was this week nibbles? I think it was. No, that can't be right. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I've lost all track of time. So anyway, uh, we've got five kittens that uh, arrived mysteriously and uh, somewhat <clears throat> unexpectedly uh, that have joined puddles upstairs. I'm sure you've seen them. And I have been feeding them every three or four hours uh, to make sure that they get enough to eat because it seems like they're not the best at nursing or maybe, uh, maybe puddles is basically done uh, being a mom. And that's fine. Uh, you know, nobody, she didn't sign up for this job, <laughs> but, uh, but she is doing a real good job of helping out by sort of taking care of the kittens when she can. 
and uh, you know, kind of pooping them and helping them pee once in a while. And so uh, taking a little bit of the load off, I, I would be up every two hours probably if it weren't for her. Uh, so um, it's, uh, it's been really great that she's been able to help out like that. And her older kittens also help out quite a bit. You'll see them snuggled up with the little kittens. It's super sweet. And it'll only be a few weeks before they're all similar enough in size to really play together too. So uh, we're all looking forward to that. Uh, otherwise, I really don't know what's news. I have no idea what's going on um, right now. <laughs> Just keeping up with stuff. Uh, our mom cat that still hasn't delivered yet, who is Serenity, the gray cat, uh, we're keeping an eye on her just so you know. I know she seemed like she's, she's feeling a little bit under the weather, and that's okay, but we're giving her dewormer, and we're giving her a special diet, and we're keeping an eye on it, and uh, um, if things don't resolve soon, then we're going to find out if there's any antibiotics we can give her safely while she's pregnant, or if she just waits it out, uh, that's okay too. We've definitely you know, seen worse, so she's not that bad off. I see it's time for that Jackson Galaxy t tunnel to go. It's got a wire poking out. Um, I should take care of it right now. Here. That one lasted a while. I guess you guys can hear all this. Sorry about that. <laughs> Apologies. <laughs> okay. So... I think that's it for news. I can't think of anything else that we have to cover that's uh, news-wise. So I guess we can just get right into the mailbaggy stuff. Um, yeah, I guess that's about it. So, uh, all right, let's just do it. Uh, we do have a couple letters. I, I think um, last weekend for mailbag, I mentioned that we had, uh, I thought maybe we had a couple letters that I had left accidentally in the car, and I said I'd try to remember to get back to them. Well, I didn't remember, uh, and we did, in fact, have a couple letters in the car. So let's start there. And, and there's a couple letters that arrived this week. So let's get our letters done. Hang on now. I need to get a letter opener for all that. Okay, look out, buddy. Hi. Hi, little orange boy. We were just talking about you. All right. He's been doing really well otherwise, and uh, I've learned way too much about checking uh, how, to, how to feel a cat's colon, uh, and he is clear right now, so he's still doing very well in that regard. Uh, looks like somebody got him in the eye, though, huh? With all that roughhousing, that does happen once in a while. Um, anyway, I've learned a lot about checking kittens' uh, little colons and uh, also uh, how to give them an enema. Um, that's one of the reasons that we went to the vet with him this week was... Uh, so that I could actually observe the doc doing that uh, this time. It's the third time that she's done it for him, and uh, I, I tried to sort of learn about it. You know, uh, she told me how to do it orally. You know, she said, well, you, don't, you don't do an enema orally. That would be crazy. She, she told me about it, though, <laughs> instead of showing me it before, and so I've done it a few times. Um, but I felt like my technique was lacking, so when we brought him in this week, it was with the uh, pretty much with the purpose of uh, the express purpose, and pun intended, of uh, of getting him an enema, but also me uh, actually watching it so that I could get a real feel for how it's done. And I, it turns out that I wasn't there. She's she's way more bold with what she does and how she does it than I would ever have been, and probably still would be. Um, you know, I'll probably dial back to about 50% of what I saw, and I'm sure that'll be plenty for him. So I don't need to get into details. Nobody wants to hear about that. Um, okay, so this is apparently from K.A. Bless and uh, Mayhem Boozle. Let's see. I think that's who this is from. We got a cute little ki uh, sticker of a kitten chasing a sticker of a mouse. Oh, and something has fallen out here. I don't know exactly what this is. Pennies? Weight? Extra weight? Hmm, that's an odd one. Let's see. Um, anniversary wishes. It's got two cute little fuzzy puppies on the front, and inside it says, P.S., just pretend, pretend the cute doggos on the card are cute kitties. Well, we like doggos, too, so that's fine with me, just the way it is. Uh, anniversary wishes for many more years of love and happiness. Congratulations. Dear K.A., seven years. Congrats. You've touched so many people's lives with the community you've created. I'm extremely grateful to be one of them. And in the spirit of the traditional gift for seven years, copper, I've sent a small donation for you to use however you see fit. 
Uh, hope to see you at KACON. Still trying to find a coworker to switch weekends to work with me. Fingers crossed. Uh, many spoogles and keep it up and Adam, uh, K bless mayhem, bamboozle and Daisy. That's so sweet. Uh, and these are in fact a set of pennies and that now makes perfect sense. And there are seven of them, which is super appropriate. Uh, it does make sense. Although I don't think pennies have been made out of copper for a very long time. I can see that there are, wow, I haven't actually looked at a penny in a very long time, and the newer ones are, are uh, much less embossed. They're, they're much less three-dimensional than the older ones. Uh, how about that? Interesting. Um, anyway, there is one here from 1976 and 88 and 2014 and 2018. Oh, I missed a 2005 in there trying to go in order. And a 2020 and a 2021. That's a pretty good range. And the 76 might still be copper. It's uh, even maybe the 88. I don't remember when they whatever it is they do now. Um, that's super cool, though. Oh, I thought I heard a kitten uh, like horking, but uh, it turns out it's just a little orange boy playing with something against the wall. A little tiny toy. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, Kay, bless. Thank you so much. It's really sweet of you to write, and it's fun to still be getting stuff for our seven-year Kitten Academy anniversary. I can't believe it's been seven years. It sounds like even longer than it feels like most of the time. And then sometimes I think back to how different life was for me when we started, uh, you know, and for DJ too. Uh, you know, she was um, just starting school, as I recall. Yeah, the math on that adds up. She was just starting med school when we started the Kitten Academy, and uh, now she's a fellow. She's got two more years of that before she's just unleashed on the world. So uh, it's, it's been a lot of changes for all of us. Uh, anyway, okay, here's another one that says, okay to read on stream. So that's somebody who knows what's up. And it's got cute little rainbows on it. And inside, hold that for me, Custard. Oh, wow, it's got a really cool uh, lion here. And it says, oh, hi there. <laughs> Very cute. Uh, this is sweet. It says, okay to read on stream, sincerely and with much love to all, please kiss little T for me from Judith W. Uh, previously known as Judy B or JB, I've decided to use my actual name. It's easier than remembering all my aliases. <laughs> Boy, do I know how that is. All right. Uh, and then there's a note and it says, Dear Kitten Academy, it's been a while since I've written, but I've been watching and enjoying. Thanks for all you do. I was watching the April 10th Microbe Teaspoon, or, oh wow, he's climbing the wall now. That's the second time that I've seen um, Spatula fall today. She fell uh, off the climbing thing in the stairs as I was just as I was coming down here. She's okay though. I mean, she's just, she's just being clumsy today for some reason. A little Spatula. Uh, anyway, that was cute seeing Teaspoon on the wall. I don't know if I've seen him up there before, but he's learning so much. Yesterday, I'm sorry to interrupt your letter. Uh, uh, JB, um, uh, JW now, I suppose. Um, yesterday, so what we've been doing for him is we've got him on a chicken diet because his poops were good when he was on the chicken diet and then we took him off of it and they got bad and so now I put him back on. Um, I don't know if it's that's the, the only solution that we have. I think long term that's really not a sustainable way to feed a cat. Um, but for now, um, you know, we're doing that. So we've been really careful with letting him not eat the same new low food that everybody else is on. And what we've been doing is putting the new low for these kids on the kitchen table where he had, has never been seen before. And they all now know how to get up on the kitchen table. Yesterday I came down, there he is on the kitchen table, chowing down on the new low. And uh, that's when we realized he's really starting to grow up, I guess. And also when we realized we're going to have to start putting the food away if we want him to come out and play. That's fine. It is what it is. So uh, anyway, seeing him climb the walls, uh, yet another uh, indicator that he's definitely growing up. So you say, watching the April 10th micro or little T as I call him, when you brought him home from the vet and explained his uh, gastro situation. I was reminded of Millet and what he went through at such a young age, but you, DJ, and the entire KA community got him through it. He was such a fighter. You know, it's funny that you mentioned that about Millet because I think about Millet all the time and it's... Uh, I don't, I don't know what to make of it, but I never really think about um, his medical situation where we had to have that crazy harness built for him that would like pull his, his rib cage out, right? Um, and that's not the thing that I remember when I think about him. I just remember how sweet and wonderful he was and uh, 
uh, especially that little photo bomb <laughs> that he did in that one close up that's just famous. Uh, and uh, never about the other stuff. And I hope I hope the same thing works out for Teaspoon, where, you know, at some point we just remember how cute he was, and we never even have to think about the issues that he's been through. Uh, anyway, you say, you DJ and the entire Ka community got him through it. He was such a fighter. I'm sure little T will be too. These young kittens have strong spirits and a wonderful joy de vivre. Uh, easy for me to say. As Millet grew strong, he blossomed into a sweet, handsome, playful cat. I have faith that with all our love and support, so will little T. He will become someone's or some family's forever friend. Yes, well, I'm sure that's true, and uh, it's uh, it's something I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing him. Uh, well, I'm really looking forward to seeing him uh, go to the cardiologist on the 23rd and uh, find out what the cardiologist thinks, and then I think we'll get a real good feel for his future. So, uh, fingers crossed. He's certainly enjoying his life right now and seems like he's doing great. Uh, so is Custard, for that matter, um, enjoying his life and doing great ever since we got him on that new medication. He's almost too much. Uh, at four in the morning, he comes barreling around uh, in the bedroom and just making a giant lot of noise. I mean, that's DJ named Thunder, Thunder, because Custard banging around the house uh, is thunderous, and, and she says that th uh, Thunder's the one that looks the most like Custard. So... He's really putting that uh, to the test lately. All right, our next letter. This is so beautiful. It looks like a drawing of Ari in his little gray bed. It, I mean, it really looks like that, but I'm, is it? I guess it can't possibly be, or maybe it is. It's, uh, it's titled Punkin' Kitty by, uh, it says Mary Beth Wiseman, and it appears to be signed, so I don't know what to make of it. Um, that's cute. Hello. There was no chance of finding a card with five kittens on it, so I settled for just one. I hope Serenity stays serene while all this kittening goes on around her. Love, M. Hobbit. Well, thank you so much, M. Hobbit. Look at how much that looks like little uh, Ari. And, uh, wow, 15 kittens. Dear Mr. A and DJ, thank you for taking loving care of so many cats and kittens. And thank you so much for sharing the adventure with all of us watchers. My cats prefer to watch Kitten Academy when there are big families of kittens. And boy, did they get their wish this time. I'm, uh, it's fun seeing how Puddle's first class interact with the second class. Sometimes wanting to mother them, other times wanting to play and wrestle with them, or just form a big kitten pile together for napping. It says mapping here, but I'm going to say uh, napping. Uh, I guess it could be mapping. Who knows? Uh, kittens get up to some crazy things these days. I think the interactions show the kitten characters developing, like Brawly, who looks like she thinks the little ones are way too noisy. I hate to see Nibbles and her kittens go, but for your sake, I hope they're able to graduate and move to their forever homes before Serenity has her kittens. Make that 15 kittens, 3 mom cats, and counting. Maybe it's a riddle. How many kittens can Loganberry lick? Will the golden teaspoon be staying for advanced study while we watch to see how he grows, or will he be cleared to graduate? So much action to watch, it's hard to concentrate on work. Thank you again for sharing it, and congratulations on seven years of streaming. With love, M. Hobbit. P.S. I chose blue paper for your April Meowers and May Puddles themes. Very sweet. Uh, so, um, your one question there was, is a Little Teaspoon going to stick around longer than usual? Um, and I guess... Fundamentally, I don't know. I suspect he probably is going to stick around a little longer than usual. Um, but uh, so far, look at him running on the, the running wheel. Oh, my goodness. He's so advanced now. I, I hope that camera's on. I think it is. I think it is on and zoomed out enough that you can see everything he's been up to. Uh, let me just double check. Yes. Okay, good. More or less. You might have to squint a bit or get out your magnifying glass, but that's okay. So, um, yeah, I, I suspect that he's going to be here a little longer than usual, but um, really until the 23rd, we don't, we don't know much of anything. Uh, I'll tell you that until the cardiologist says it's okay, I'm not going to feel too comfortable uh, getting him his neuter, and I bet that our vet probably wouldn't either. Uh, so there's going to at least be that um, when, when the cardiologist says it's okay. We'll, we'll see. Uh, anyway, moving right along, our last letter for today, uh, it has carrots on the stamp. Who knew that would be a stamp theme? And on the back, we have little butterflies, and let's see here. 
Oh, we've got another one with two cute puppies on it. I don't know what's up with that, but it's super cute. Also, there's some giant lettering on the inside. It says in huge letters, you and Dr. DJ rock. Eddie Butt and Ari Butt are also rock cats. Uh, it's so true. I was going to give you a cat card, but couldn't find one. Next best thing, a cute puppy card. I just noticed it also has three paw prints at the upper right and left of the card. Oh, does it? Oh, oh, wow. It actually does, but they're in the gloss on the photo. So you can't see them unless the, the light hits it just right. Interesting. Uh, oh, you just say that. It was hard for me to see until the light was at the right angle. I love Serenity's color. I wonder what color she's going to pew, pew, pew out for her kittens. Puddle's name is just the cutest and her kids' names couldn't get any cuter. I don't know what it is, but Puddle's reminds me of Flower and her kids a little. I hope you and DJ are both enjoying her time off. Usually I type letters to you, so hopefully you can read my handwriting okay. Uh, that's from Jess and Diane from PA. Thank you so much, Jess and Diane from PA. Uh, those are really cute with the cute little stamps in there. I love this guy with the headphones and the one with the mustache. <laughs> those are cute too. So uh, thank you so much for writing. And uh, yeah, I'm also very excited to see what Serenity's kittens look like. Now uh, I see Teaspoon and it looks like Spork are outside sort of touching noses and they're looking at something. Uh, Anyway, yeah, I am very excited to see what Serenity's kittens are like when they uh, arrive. I wonder if they'll be all gray or if we'll get some variety. Um, and I just, I just, uh, just, I just hope that they're healthy. And yes, I also do hope that they, they stay um, in her long enough uh, for us not to have to deal with too much at once. But you know, it is what it is. Um, yeah. I can get just a little bit uh, more crazy around here before I hit a real limit. Um, as it is, I, I feel like I, I'm, you know, things are, are falling by the wayside a little bit even more than usual, but none of it is the kittens, so we're doing okay. Uh, all right, so that brings us to the end of the letters part of the show. Let's see what we've got in these wonderful boxes. Uh, I'm just going to start right here. Uh, I don't know if this thing is working out for me so much lately, because uh, I'm, I'm getting pretty fidgety already. I'm going to try sitting on my knees. Uh, I guess I could use it that way. I don't know. Is that how it's supposed to be used? Anyway, I'm just going to try sitting like this for a little bit. We'll see how it works. This says to Kitten Academy, care of Lena. So I think we can have a pretty good guess what's in here. In fact, I'm going to go uh, double down on it and say, hi, Ari, you're sitting right in front of the camera. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to say not only do we know uh, uh, like a range of things it could be from Lena, but given the weight of it, I think that it is cat dishes, uh, cat food dishes. Let's see. Let's see if I'm not right. Uh, oh, I think I am right because it's, the note says, for sweet nibbles and her adorable utensils to serve up some yummy snacks and treats. Love and spoogles, Lena. Lena, thank you uh, in advance so much. I love uh, that you, you always send something for every class, which you really don't need to do, um, but you send something for every class, and it's usually um, one of these personalized things that say the kitties' names on them. Uh, wouldn't that be great if I dropped one of these and broke it right here on stream? Uh, all right. Let's see. So these are ceramic uh, cat dishes. Oh, they packed them much differently this time. I wondered why it looked like there were only two, but that's because they've stacked them for shipping. That actually probably makes more sense overall. And you can see here that they are little cat-shaped cat dishes. Aren't they cute? And you can see this one is for Ramekin. And then uh, there's a matching one for Nibbles and Goblet and probably for Teaspoon. And all the others, too. I'm not going to unwrap the other side of it because they're so nicely packed right now. And you get the idea. Uh, Lena, these are wonderful. I love the fact that the, the adopters get things with their kittens' names on them. And I think it's even more fun, um, or maybe the same amount of fun anyway, when the kittens end up getting renamed. I think it's fun to have that reminder of what they were at the Kitten Academy, or what they were named, I should say, at the Kitten Academy. Uh, not that I think any of these kids should be or will be renamed. They're perfect names. Um, but Lena, thank you so much for that. The adopters are going to love those wonderful little dishes. And uh, that's some nice printing on there, too. And the little cat face is adorable. Those are so cute. 
Thank you for sending those. I, I see somebody already wants to try it, don't you, Goblet? Yes, yours was in that pile. I don't know if I said her name. I thought it was the last one, right? Hi, hi, Goblet. Hi, hi, hi. You're being very cute. Do you want to say something into the microphone? No. Okay, I see the microphone slipping, by the way. I hope that's not ruining everything. Okay, I hope that wasn't too loud either. I don't know what I'm doing, okay? I'm, it's just like the shirt says. The shirt says... I have no idea what I'm doing. It uh, couldn't be more accurate. Uh, and, well, I'm apologizing for the way I'm dressed. I know I'm covered in, like, cat, uh, kitten milk replacement and probably some cat, um, I don't know, waste products. <laughs> but uh, I apologize for that, too. Uh, planning to get a shower in later today, but it just hasn't been time yet. So there we go. Okay, next, we have a package that says here in the return address, it is care of Megalina. Uh, I know Chewy hasn't historically let you leave notes, so I don't know if there'll be any more of a note. Um, I will have to check. These are so cute, though. Aw. So they are... Um, I'm, I'm always impressed how many cat toys there are that are... They seem so specific or particular to something. Uh, so what you have sent here... <laughs> this is pretty funny, Megalina. I like, I like it. I'll get one of these out right now to show everybody. You've sent four identical to mom. So it's a little card. It's an envelope that's been opened. I think you can see that to mom. Uh, and here on the front, it's sealed with a cat, very fancy, and it's been opened and the card's coming out and the card says, best cat mom. And you sent four of them. So I think the competition is on. Or maybe the competition is off. Uh, if we give them each one of these cards, then they're all the best cat mom, aren't they? Wow, Custard, you really are a giant kitten these days. Um, that uh, that, that uh, joint medication that he's on, it just it makes such a drastic difference for him. It's amazing. Uh, I guess, I bet, I bet by now even you guys have noticed that he's been acting differently, uh, more like he used to, like a kitten. And uh, I know we've had a lot of people who were like, what is the medication? And uh, not only do I not necessarily remember the name, uh, but I think if, if you're interested in that, it's always best to ask your vet what to do. Um, it's relatively recent, so just ask them about the new thing, and I'm sure they'll know what's up. Uh, I was asking DJ this morning what it was and if it's available for humans, because he seems so good. I'm like, I need to get some of that for me. Uh, but she says uh, she doesn't think so. Uh, so, unfortunately, just for cats right now. Okay, uh, Megalina, I should probably check the chat real quick to see if uh, you sent me anything about those, but I get the idea, I think. Oh. It's for all the mom cats, especially puddles. Yes, <laughs> of course. Thank you so much, Megalina. That's exactly what I assumed. I will get these distributed sooner rather than later. Um, they say... Uh, Plush toy with catnip, so there must be catnip inside. She'll like that. Okay, um, and oh, I guess I can leave one out here for Nibbles wherever she is right now. And that saves me the trouble of figuring out what to do with this one that I opened. So I was just trying to see if she's outside. I don't see her anywhere. Okay, let's keep rolling. I'm hoping that we can get through all of this today. Oh, isn't this cute? It says Animals Feeder. Hmm. It looks like it's one of those feeders that kind of slows things down a little bit, but I can't quite make heads or tails of it from the photo. It says, Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, I saw this in a video and thought that could be worth a try. From Madam Amy Lotta and Gypsy Mousy. Well, now that you say that, I seem to remember somebody uh, saying something about that. Oh, I see. Oh. Oh, how strange. Uh, it's, she says, I saw that video and ordered that feeder. It could be worth a try. It's, I hope it's on time for this week's mailbag. Uh, <laughs> you called it something very funny, uh, which I don't even know if I can say. Interesting. So it says here, product specification, milk feeder with four nipples and a stand. Uh, made from soft silicone, safe for animals, produced to make feeding easy and comfortable for you and your pets. Has four nipple caps to keep milk from le leaking out. Uh, resistant to high and low temperatures, easy to use and clean. So interesting. And then you did post a link to the video here, which uh, 
<laughs> now that I can kind of see what's, I'm not watching the video, I'm not playing it, but the thumbnail of it is a guy pouring milk into the top of this thing. And uh, then what I now recognize is it has four little nipples, one on every corner. Let's see here. And in the picture, he's got <laughs> he's got each each of these is clamped. Uh, it looks like what the okay. It looks like what it comes with are little things that go in to plug them. So little plugs. But in the picture where he's filling it, he's got a clothespin stuck on the end of each one. That does not sound entirely pleasant. Uh, okay. Wow, what a weird little device. Uh, it is exactly as described. It is just basically a bowl. A big soft bowl made of silicone, uh, and it's got a lid that can go on the top, and it's got this strange stand as well right here, uh, which I guess you could put it on top of if the kittens want to sit up a little bit. That must be what it's for. Uh, how very odd. I mean, really odd. Um, it would be fun to try just to see if the kittens would go for it. Uh, if we could get all four of them nursing, or four of the five, I guess, nursing from this, uh, that would be a fun trick. I don't know how much use we'll get from it overall because in my experience, it has been extremely rare for us to get kittens that will actually nurse. Uh, you know, the vast majority of them just, just won't do it for us. And uh, uh, we have to go straight to the tube, and, and honestly, in a lot of cases, prefer the tube for good reasons. Oh, I see. On this, on the picture here, they've got the table that I put it on upside down and holding it that way, which uh, I guess lets you adjust the height as well. Pretty cool. Hmm. Well, that's a really strange little device. I have no idea how you came across that. I'm excited to try it out and see how it works, though. We've tried a lot of this kind of stuff. Um, and like I said, a lot of it has not worked for us. But then again, we usually have cats that just kittens that will not nurse. And it's always been my claim that if they've ever nursed from their mom, uh, you know, if they start nursing from their mom, then they usually will reject the, the nipple, the fake nipple uh, that we use. Uh, and we've tried all kinds of bottles, we've tried all kinds of nipples, we've tried the, all kinds of different stuff. Right now we're using the Miracle Nipple, which is the one that has historically been good for us. Uh, but we've also tried the, the uh, we've had several people send in their favorite kind. We've tried the, the standard animal feeding stuff. And uh, in the past, really bad luck with it. This class, the five that came in are so easy. They, they generally are eating, uh, you know, even more than the uh, weight charts say that they should be able to eat. Uh, they just they just nurse uh, tons on on uh, the kitten milk replacer uh, KMR that we use. So uh, yeah, it could be fun to try something something else on them too. Uh, especially if we supplementing them as they get bigger, uh, it's going to get to be a little bit more of a burden to have to keep feeding them as they get closer to being old enough to wean. I estimate that right now they're about a week old based on the fact that their eyes have just opened. They might be, you know, almost a week and a half, probably not any more than that. Um, their size is a little small for kittens that are that age, for us anyway, probably about average overall. Um, so that gives us, you know, probably another easily three weeks of needing to nurse them. And by the end of those three weeks, they're as big as the, the medium sized kittens upstairs. So that is a lot of nursing to do. So something like this should be uh, super interesting to try. We've also got a long time ago, people sent us some things that are basically like a set of nipples in a little fur rug. So it simulates a mom. And we've got one that's just nipples for them to sort of comfort nurse on. And we've got another one that actually holds little bottles. Uh, for them to nurse on. And uh, I know exactly where those are in storage with the rest of the KMR. I might, they seem like a lot of trouble to get those things set up where this is, seems much easier. You just pour the milk in. Uh, but it could be fun to try those out again, even though those are things we've had zero luck with in the past. Uh, it could be cool to try them again and find out. So anyway, we'll, we'll see about all that. Of course, I say all that and I, I just, I have no spare time right now for, for trying extra fun stuff, uh, so, but, but we'll see, we'll see. Okay, next up we have a package from Busy Cat, which I don't think I'm expecting at this time, so it's a little bit of a mystery what might be in here. Let's see here. And I guess I should mention, you know, I don't always get a chance to give uh, sort of a feedback on things that people have sent. Like, uh, I, I often think like, oh, 
you know, here's uh, some candy that somebody sent that I really liked or that I really didn't like, uh, and I should say something about it, but we don't really have a time when I can uh, do that or when it comes up or when it's relevant, and so it never gets done. Um, but I was going to say, Pat sent us some draft. Um, it's like Febreze, but it's a draft. And it makes perfect sense that you would send that because it seems like something I would love. But it smells, it's a different scent than their fabric laundry stuff. And I, I have to say, I don't like it. I really don't like it. <laughs> um, so that's weird, isn't it? That's really weird. Um, thank you, though, for, for giving us something new to try. I always love trying new things anyway. And uh, that, was a, that was a weird, ex- fun experience. And I'll tell you what, the, the stranger part of it maybe is that it smells to me exactly like a nursery. Uh, and not like the dirty parts of a nursery, like the nice clean parts of, of a nursery, but uh, there's just something about that that doesn't appeal to me. And so it's strange the draft fabric uh, stuff doesn't smell that way to me at all. I don't know what the difference is. Um, anyway, uh, Busy Cat, this is Dear Teaspoon. Teaspoon, come here, buddy. I made you an extra quilt and blankie with teaspoons all over. Please enjoy, Mr. A. Please deploy. Love, Busy Cat. Well, he's got a couple places up in the bedroom that he likes to sleep, so I'm sure we can put this in one of those places and he will love it. He started to take to, um, there's this, uh, I don't know if anybody will remember, there was that strange sort of heart-shaped gray bed that was sent in, I don't know, six, six months ago during a mailbag. I remember it was cold outside, and I think it was the same mailbag where we got that giant cushion that was out here for a while that was gray as well, or maybe the one after. Anyway, um, it, and it had a strange shape to it where it was sort of shaped like a heart or sort of shaped like a, like a um, hazelnut or something, you know, uh, and a big bow on it. And that has ended up over time at the end of our bed on the, uh, what do you call that thing? Um, I was asking DJ, but she's got her headphones in. She's probably talking her own. The thing at the end of the bed. Uh, okay, a bench, whatever. Uh, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, it's got that gray bed on it, and it turns out that that bed now in that position is one of the favorite things of cats to sleep in. It's one of teaspoon spots that he likes to be. And then yesterday I caught him in uh, that that the Japanese uh, hot tub that we that was sent in. Um, I saw him in that, and he was just he was sprawled out, loving it, uh, fast asleep in that thing. And that's another place where he seems to like to be once in a while. So uh, let's take a look at what you have sent. Oh, my goodness, look at these teaspoons. That is so cool. I don't know how you find these materials. And it's got a real uh, retro feel to it, too, doesn't it? So this is for him to, to have in one of his beds upstairs. It's got a blanket, and it's got a cushion. It's a little bit big for what I was talking about, but I bet if you put it on that bench, it, he would probably end up sleeping on it quite a bit, mm-hmm. or anywhere up there. This is so cute for him. Adorable. It's super cute. Wow. Yeah. What do you think, buddy? There's a teaspoon on a bunch of teaspoons. <laughs> he seems like he's not exactly in settled down mode right now. Teaspoon burrito. Oh, that's so cute. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay. There he goes. Well, I'm going to fold this up and put it right here in this box, and then we can carry it upstairs and figure out where to put it. Of course, it would have to go upstairs somewhere because of the feeding stuff. He spends most of his time living uh, upstairs in the uh, the spa, um, and that's because that's where we feed him his separate food. It's just easier to keep him separate from everybody that way, and also I think uh, DJ likes him a whole bunch, so it's it's a way for her to spend more time with him. But you guys get to see plenty of him as well. All right. Isn't that right, little buddy? Yes. Okay, there you go. All right. Uh, thank you so much, Busy Cat. That's super, super cute. And I see that they're going to play now with this torn up tissue paper. You want to play with that for you? Here you go. There you go. Okay. All right. Well, uh, moving right along. Next up, we have, uh, let's see, just addressed to Kitten Academy mailbag. All right, well, that's us. I thought I could get this open the way that Amazon wants you to, but no. Oh, there we go. Oh, I think I know what this is. It looks like the long-tailed mice. Let's find out if there's a note. There is a note, and the note says... Aw, 
Uh, endowments, please. Keep growing Q-tensils and April Meowsers. Keep finding new heights, all especially little, oh, oh, keep finding new heights all, especially little cute adorable T from Cher. Cher, uh, thank you so much. I hope that's not just cut off, um, S-H-E-R, Cher, um, but that's okay. Thank you very much. These uh, are the long-tailed mice. They do like these. There's one of them around uh, somewhere here, so I won't open these up, but they're perfect for, as you say, endowments. So I'll put them right here in what's going to be the endowment pile, I guess, as we carry on here. Thank you so much for that. Uh, I wonder if I, I'd like to leave this busy cat thing with those blankets, but they're, they're gonna get deployed, so it's not gonna, it doesn't have a place to live. That's all right. Okay, let's put the envelopes in here while we're going. But the, oh, DJ, do you, can you, do you wanna see something completely weird and crazy? I, I got it. I'm gonna hand this to her and let her look at this while she's in there. You know, we don't have to get a reaction on. Uh, here you go. The, I've got the lab mic on though, so it's just I don't know. Read the side of it and then take it out and have a look. I know, I know. It's it's very strange. Okay, I, I I'd be curious to find out. I think we'll have to give it a good wash first, but uh, yeah, why not try it? It'd be weird if it did work. <laughs> that would be so such a strange thing to see, wouldn't it? Uh, all right, let's find out. Uh, so, let's see. Next up. Let's see. Hopefully there's a note in here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, that's too good. Um, all right, hang on, though. Oh, okay, there might be a note. Let's see. Oh, 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 wow. Well, I thought I saw another package from this same person uh, that we're going to come to. Maybe we can find that next. But before we do, let's see. This says one of two. Okay, one of two is... Hi, hi Ari, you're right in front of the camera. I guess that's okay. One of two chocolate treats for the superheroes of KA, Mr. A and Dr. DJ for their unwavering support and loving care of so many cats and kittens. Enjoy from Architect Cat. Uh, thank you so much. These are basically like turtles, uh, except they're sea salt caramel pecan clusters, and that sounds awesome. The extra, the, uh, the addition of the salt to that is uh, got to make it super good. Oh my goodness, uh, that sounds really really nice. And then this has a picture of Ari on it. Actually, it's not Ari. It's like a Scottish fold that looks like Ari. Uh, and it says catnip scratcher balls for general use from Architect Cat. Uh, the picture of it looks like, oh, we saw one of these the other day uh, in, a, in a previous mailbag. It's like a little paper ball that has a tube in the middle for catnip. Let's take a look. Oh, there's two of them in here. Look at that. They're packaged in separate little boxes inside the bigger box. Uh, so it's going to be even more work for me to get one out to show you. Hang on. We're getting there. There we go. Hi. Hi, Spork, what are you doing? Oh my goodness, okay, there we go. Yes, and as described, it is uh, basically a paper ball with a plastic tube in the middle into which you can place catnip. It'll be interesting to see if the kids wanna play with it. Uh, I think it should be super fun for them. It looks like it would roll around pretty well uh, with or without the catnip. And they each also come with a tube of catnip. So uh, an interesting toy, and I, I, I'm curious to see uh, what they make of it. So thank you for those, Architect Cat. And let me take just a minute to dig here and see if I did, in fact, see a package. Yes. Oh, it's, it's right here. It probably would have been next anyway. A uh, package from you. Ari. Ari. Hey, buddy. You want to get petted? Come on over here. Hi. Hi. Oh, hi. Hi, buddy. Yes. Oh, well, this is why you never... What are you doing? I don't know what this thing is. Um... Okay, so this is also from Architect Cat, and it says, I know I'm perfect. It's got this cute little kitty with glasses saying, I know I'm perfect. And on this side, we've got a dog saying it wasn't me and looking very cute and innocent. We've got another little puppy over here. And then on this side, it says, I'm too cute, and it looks exactly like Teaspoon. Look at that. Wow, that's adorable. Huh. He's even got, it looks like little blue eyes, maybe. Super sweet. All right, let's take a look here. Wow, 
Now we have some more tissue paper. Oh, wow. Uh, nice stuff. Ni nicely packed, too. Uh, and this says, the note, question mark, maybe, with a, a, an emoji of a shrugging man on it. That's really cute. Uh, the note, maybe, shrug. Uh, and it is a box that has been folded out of paper. Very cool. Let's see if I can get it open without causing too much damage. There we go. <gasps> well, it may be a note, but it's also full of Ghirardelli chocolate, mini milk chocolate, mini sea salt caramel chocolates. Oh, my goodness. And there's so many of them. That's a terrible pun. Why did I even bother? Okay. Uh, lots of that chocolate. Wow, I'm just going to dump that right here next to the other chocolate because I think at the bottom of it is, yes, there it is, the note. And the note says... Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, such sweet paradise for K.A. to be over-enrolled with so many beautiful mom cats and their kindle of kittens. Enclosed, we, uh, enclosed is just a little something for super mom puddles, interesting, who took on the role of surrogate mom to the five new tinies. Indeed, she did. And, uh, oh, I see. Uh, no, I don't see. Uh, okay. And for the elegant lady, Serenity Gray. I see. The rest are for as you see fit, deployment and endowments. Thank you for all you do for the cats in the KA community. Love, Architect Cat. Aw, thank you. And that's cute letterhead too. Oh my goodness. All right. So let's see. Uh, you say for Super Mom Puddles and elegant lady, Serenity Gray, and then for as we see fit. So First off, we have a box of some kind of toy, and let's just see what is in here. Oh, oh nice. Uh, these are those little uh, wrapped mice that have, yes, they have rattles in them, and they've got the feather tails, and they're rainbows. Those are so cute. I'm going to put one out right now because I already got it out. Oops, I wanted that to land on the pool table, but it bounced right off. Uh, thank you so much for that. There's also another big box of... Oh, uh, very similar mice, but they aren't wrapped. They're little fur mice, probably also with rattles in them. Here we go. This one you can see because there's a window on it, so I don't have to get one out right now, but a real classic toy uh, and excellent for endowments as well. And then we have two more beautiful paper boxes. These are so pretty. Who's meowing back there? Is that Teaspoon talking to the toy? It is. What is he saying? What toy is that that he's so excited about that he's got to talk about it? He's Now he's making a little play noise. I don't know. You couldn't hear. He goes, Brr. it was a little orange spring. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Oh, now I need a picture. Oh, too late. Okay. All right. He was very excited about that. So uh, here are two more paper boxes, and one says Super Mom Puddles with a picture of Puddles and the Super Mom logo. And she's even got a cape on that's so cute. Uh, actually, I guess it's not Puddles. It's just a kitten, but it looks a lot like her. And then on this side, we've got Lady Serenity Gray and a beautiful black kitty sitting on a ball of yarn. Uh, these are so pretty. I want to know what's inside of them, so let's try to carefully get them open. There we go. Oh, there we go. Okay, I see. These are things that they are going to love. This is one of the catnip kickers from uh, Dr. Uh, Pussum's catnip, which is one of the... Ooh, Man, now that I've got this paper open, I can really smell it. Uh, that's one of the excellent catnips that's sort of semi-local, uh, New England anyway. And uh, really good stuff that the mom cats love already. Uh, I assume it's the same thing for puddles, but we have to look. And then we'll put these back and put them for their endowments because they're so nicely packed in because they have a lot of catnip right now. There we go. Yes, it is. Beautiful choice of colors and packaging to match. My goodness. Such an eye for design. I guess it makes sense, uh, given what you presumably do for a living. I mean, it could be all eyes. We don't know for sure. But your handwriting and packaging says, yes, it's all true. So <laughs> let's, uh, let's see. This is endowments here. So I'm going to put this in the endowment pile for now. And um, I guess we've got to figure out, well, we'll get to it. For now, let's keep rolling. Whoop. Keep rolling. Okay. A little bit of consolidation. That's probably super loud in the lab mic. Sorry about all that. And next up, international shipping from, uh, where was this from? I, I thought, I remember thinking it was interesting. Brussels, there we go. How about that? 
So let's find out what this is all about. Nicely packaged. Lots of oh, the note. Okay, let's see. Very exciting. Wow, it's a big envelope. All right. Wow, what is all this stuff? There's some very interesting things here. So we have the note. Oh, and the second note. Wow. All right. Hello, Mr. A and Dr. DJ. Greetings from Belgium. I hope all is well with the classes and the faculty. As I'm writing and assembling the box, the utensils are running around the house and Puddle's kids are just a week old. It's been a while since I sent something to KA. Well, you may have received a picture frame recently. The item for the frame is enclosed in this package. Sending it framed felt too much of a risk no matter how I wrapped it up, so I decided I'd buy a frame on Amazon and not worry about wrapping a frame so it wouldn't break during an overseas trip. You know, that's really smart. I do worry about that kind of stuff of not just the frame breaking, but of, you know, the art being laid out and punctured or ripped or torn or something where it looks like, I, I guess that must be what this tube is, uh, and having it wrapped in a tube like this seems much safer. So uh, let's see. Yes, I know we don't have to send anything, but it's fun, and most of this box was just a happy coincidence. So, the idea for this box started with a blanket you received during mailbag somewhere before Christmas last year. I had made the exact same image as a diamond painting, and I d decided I just had to send it to you. So while I was thinking on how I was going to ship it, I saw these cute Christmas ornaments and cards the local shelters were se selling... And I thought, what a great idea it would be to send some to you, because that's the way we're supporting them, too. While I was waiting on the delivery, there were two chocolate funding campaigns, and it couldn't be more perfect, right? Supporting animals and getting chocolate to send to you. So I just had to get those two, and well, happy early Christmas in July. Ha ha. <laughs> that's cute. Okay. Uh, in this package, you will find... An unframed diamond painting in a roll. Well, I don't, I can't picture what the diamond painting would be, but we'll find out. Uh, okay, uh, should we do one thing at a time, or should we? No, let's, let's do one thing at a time. Let's open this up before we go further down the list, and let's not forget there's a second note. All right, let's be careful about opening this now that it's gone through so much trouble to get to us intact. It'd be a shame for it to get messed up at the last minute. So let's carefully cut through some of this masking tape. There we go. Nibbles, what are you saying now? Is this around a cardboard tube? Maybe I'm being extra careful for nothing. No, no, that's just the art. Okay, good. I'm glad I'm being careful. I'm glad I didn't assume that there was a tube there. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Okay. Oh. Oh, I see. Diamond painting means, uh, wow, it's made of like little, uh, well, I would say sequins, but they're not sequins. They're little plastic diamonds. I, I said plastic, actually. I don't know what they are. They could be anything. Glass? Plastic? Wow. It's so sparkly. My goodness. And it's so dense. Look at that. Oh, it's a little kitty singing a Christmas carol with a, a, a Christmas hat, a Christmas hat, stocking cap. Wow, it's so bright and beautiful and sparkly and adorable. I hope you can see that little kitty singing with his mouth wide open, reading from the little book. That's so pretty. Oh my goodness. And it's on this really thick canvas too. What a cool way to do artwork and so beautiful. All right, I don't want to risk messing this up, like I said, after it's come so far, so I'm going to put it right back. That's beautiful. Oh, it's got a cool texture, too. It's kind of fun just to feel like this. Uh, that's that's so cool. All right, um, what to do to make sure it doesn't get mixed up? Well, for now, I'm going to put it back in this little piece of paper here, and then we're going to set it aside and make a special note to get this someplace special with your note. Okay, uh, Cote d'Or gift bag with chocolate bars and chocolate spread. Oh my goodness. Well, that may be what's in here, perhaps. Yes, it looks that way. 
chocolate spread that supported SOS Reptil, a local shelter. I'm probably mis. Oh, no, maybe not. A uh, local shelter that specializes in reptiles and other cold blooded animals. I hope the jar survived. I padded it with toys. All right. Let's see. And this is a very cute little gift bag, by the way. Look at that. Some very some people who are very, very happy about their chocolate. I know how that feels. All right. And you did pad something with little <laughs> toy. This is such a cute way to pack something. There's a jar in here that looks like it must have come intact. Uh, and then it's surrounded by little uh, pom-pom balls as a, a cat toy and packing material in one. Um, it's also taped in here really well, so I'm just going to rip into it to get this open. There we go. These guys can have some extra pom-pom balls out here. There we go. Oh, those might make better, well, I was going to say they might make better pool balls than the ones that we had, but in any case, they're going to get knocked off of that table and thrown around just like the originals did. All right. This is, as you said, a jar of chocolate. Wow. Um, that sounds fun. I'll find all kinds of things to do with this if I don't just eat it out of here with a spoon. Oh, man, which is exactly the kind of thing I would do. All right. That's beautiful. Thank you. And that's okay. Uh, we're on the lav mic, so I don't even know how much it picks that up. Probably too much anyway. Now we have a whole bunch of these balls. And inside here, we also have some very interesting little candy bars. A Nugati. That sounds like a very expensive car. Uh, Dessert 58. <laughs> that sounds like it was made in a science lab. Uh, there we go. Or maybe it would be the excellent pair for our Chicken 65. Uh, and then we have... Uh, well, this just says milk chocolate uh, hazelnuts. Except... Not exactly like that. And those, by the way, are two things that go together perfectly. Then we have a milk chocolate, uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Little truffles of some sort. And, whoa, a very heavy 1920s uh, milk chocolate bar. And it, it's wrapped in paper. It really looks like something I would find a golden ticket inside. Uh, that's beautiful. Wow. All right. I'm excited to try all of those. And Custard and Ari are going to sniff them. Okay. Also, there's more. Oh, there's so much more. We're not even nearly done yet. Two cans and a bar of King Monty chocolate that supported Cat Zucked Thethus. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. Cat looking for a home is how it's translated. Wow. Uh, I don't know which one of those things this is going to be, so we might have to just read the list and then open everything else. Uh, let's find out. Look at that. Even more of these. Somehow inside one of the air pouches. Uh, that's, I don't know how that happened. Um, okay. Well, so let's read the rest of it. Christmas ornaments and a happy meow year card that also supported the same uh, group. Christmas cards that supported Pozalu, also a local cat shelter. Plush balls to deploy as you see fit. You may find some in odd packaging. Sorry, I used them as padding. Yes, I can see that. It is odd, but it's fun. As a last minute bonus item, I'm also sending you a mini calendar. Is this a mini calendar? This says stickers. This looks like stickers. Okay. A mini calendar of the year 2012. I found it in my paper and crafting storage. No such thing as a coincidence. It's a cat calendar by Francine Van Westerling, a Dutch cat artist. I thought you and DJ might like it. I hope everything arrived in one piece. Enjoy the chocolate. And thank you for all you do for the mom, cats, and kittens uh, at KA. I love the stream, the close-ups, the mailbag, the community, just everything. See you around on Discord. Rhonda. Rhonda, thank you so much. And there is a second card here, so we might as well go straight to that. Hang on. Oh, this has a beautiful photograph of two little kittens snuggling together. And it says, so by the time I'm actually sending this note, the April meowers are two and a half weeks old. And the shipping was delayed because Belle's dental cleaning gave me extra work with different feeding schedule. She's my newest 12-year-old addition to the family, also featured in the, wa the watermark of the note. I had wondered. The note does have a beautiful kitty uh, calico, mostly white calico. Uh, probably very hard to see on the camera, though. Um, best wishes, Rhonda and the furries. 
Uh, Amoen, Beely, Eo, Toba, and Bell. I'm sure I mispronounced all of those terribly. Uh, thank you so much, though, for everything. And let's see what the rest of it is real quick here. So this note says Christmas cards. Oh, oh, they are Christmas cards. Look at that. Merry Christmas and an Elfie New Year. Here, let's see. We have an Elfie New Year with a little kitten, Elf. We have Merry Christmas with this beautiful black kitty with a little white spot. DJ was saying all black kitties with no white whatsoever are extremely rare. Uh, let's see. I wish for you for Christmas. Well, okay, she says not extremely rare, just kind of rare. The warm feeling of home, a hug full of love, a burst of laughter, a sweet memory, that moment of inner peace, a caress of happiness. So sweet. Now, this is the name of the shelter. I see, I recognize that. Happy Meow Year. That's a cool little uh, drawing. We have two adorable little kittens here. I guess you've translated these for us? I, yes, they look like translations. We wish, uh, we wish you for Christmas butterflies in your stomach, <laughs> angels around you, hugs on the bed, dreams by candlelight, and be perfectly relaxed. That's cute. I like butterflies in your stomach. Uh, all right, those are super cute. And uh, Oh, wow, look at that. That looks like little baby teaspoon as well. All right, so those are the Christmas cards. You also sent, hang on, I've got to get these back into their envelopes so they stay preserved, perhaps. I'm trying. There we go. Got it. No, almost got it. Wow, this is a perfect fit. Uh, by perfect, I mean almost impossible. How did you get those in? Okay, I'm giving up because uh, we don't have time to play with that right now. <laughs> I'm just going to put them uh, here. Okay. Uh, let's see, we have stickers, we have cat stickers, they're very cute little cat photograph stickers, they're beautiful, and uh, I'll show you guys those, there we go, okay, uh, let's see, we have a couple of packages within the package, oh, this must be something tiny, hmm, Oh, oh, these must be the Christmas ornaments. Oh, aren't they cute? We've got a cat sitting on a candy cane. Whoop. Let's see. These are, oh, you did such a good job of packing everything. Uh, I'm sure it's, a, it's amazing. Even though the box was kind of crushed during shipping, everything's come through just fine because you put a lot of work into making sure that it would. That's wonderful. Uh, let's see here. So this is... Whoop. Oh, an adorable little cross-eyed kitty uh, sitting in a Christmas present with uh, antlers and a weird funny hat uh, on his head. Super cute. Okay. We don't have to try to repack those now that they've made it all the way across the big water. Um, oh, but now I'm dropping them everywhere. <laughs> These all match very well. This is a cute little kitty holding a big sack of presents that says Meowy Christmas on it. There we go. Here, maybe I can just put them back in this envelope, but without all of the whoop, packing material. My goodness. There's still a couple more in here, though. There we go. All right. Put that in here. Put these two in here. That way they don't get lost. Excellent. Okay. All right. That one's already empty. We'll put that over here. Ari and Custard are really uh, front and center for this mailbag, aren't they? Nibbles chasing a ball over there. Maybe I should use the sharper knife for this. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, a cute little kitty sleeping in a Christmas stocking. Whoops, with a stocking cap. All right, I tried. There we go. Super adorable. Wow, these are so cute. And they all, like I said, they all fit together. Is there one in here? No, this one's already open. Okay, so wait, there's one more. But wait, there's more. Oh, that one came right out. A little kitty wearing uh, Christmas tree sunglasses, apparently. Very cool. Oh, okay, there we go. We'll put him right in there as well. All right. Oh, there's still more, though. There's still so much more. Oh, oh, oh. Hang on. Okay. Reorganize. All right. Good. I hope I'm not missing anything. This goes up here. I see somebody knocked all this stuff over. Probably me, but I'm going to blame the kittens. 
And then we have a, oh, uh, a big box and something else. Oh, is this the calendar? I did not expect it to be a little book. Wow. I see. It's an agenda, 2012, and it does have a beautiful kitten on the front and... Oh, all kinds of little kittens all over within. You know, I've seen websites that tell you how to reuse uh, calendars by finding another year that has the same, you know, the days of the week fall on the same, don't do that, uh, fall on the same days. So uh, I'll take a look and see what year 2012 matches up to. Look at that. Is that custard? This is an excellent artist, by the way. He does sort of uh, almost semi-photorealistic paintings of cats, and it's beautiful. Just lovely. Uh, I'm going to put that in this pile for the moment. And then we have this box, whatever may be inside. It says hazelnut crunch, but if this entire thing is full of some kind of chocolate or candy, that's way too much. Oh, wow. Uh, not the entire thing, but it looks like there is some of what it says. And a lot more of this, uh, these balls for packing material. This is fun. All right, let's see if we can get some more of these on the pool table while we're at it. Hey, look at that. All right, every ball, corner pocket. Uh, so this is something called King Monty Authentic Belgian Chocolate, and it's got a toucan on it. I don't know why it would be a toucan, but that's interesting. Chocolate for everyone, plant-based. Well, I mean, isn't chocolate plant-based? Oh, but it's dairy and gluten-free. Now, that's unusual, isn't it? Huh. I'm excited to try that. So we have some, it says King Monty. We've got two of those actually. And here, this one is the Hazelnut Crunch. So uh, I wonder how that works. Plus, lots and lots of little uh, uh, pom-pom balls. Here we go. And a custard. Maybe I can put all these balls here into this big King Monty box. I love that little King Monty logo. That toucan is so cute. Uh, it looks like this might be more King Monty chocolate. Let's see. I'm excited to try what is uh, authentic Belgian chocolate with no dairy. That sounds interesting. Also, it seems like a contradictory claim, right? Or, or do I just not know enough about chocolate to realize that having no dairy would be a thing? Let's uh, let's see here. Okay, we're getting to the bottom of this. I'm trying so hard not to bring our chocolate at this point. Okay, I think I did it. All right, it says vegan on the back, uh, and on the front it says authentic Belgian chocolate, King Monty chocolate for everyone, caramel and sea salt, plant-based, dairy and gluten-free. Hmm. Very interesting. Well, I'm excited to try all of that, and uh, that logo is super cute. Thank you so much for sending. I love to try stuff that is, um, you know, sort of uh, unique, stuff that we don't find here uh, or that I just don't find near me or that I would just never think to try. Uh, people send those kinds of things all the time, and they can be pretty hit or miss, uh, but this one sounds like a hit, and I'm excited to find out. It's always fun to try, even if it turns out that it's something that I'm not a big fan of. Trying it out is where all the fun is, like um, like those uh, uh, Swedish uh, licorice, uh, the black licorice that they seem to enjoy um, um, that is uh, really hard to swallow. <laughs> some of it, some of it I actually kind of liked, although I don't think I'd ever go out of my way to have it, but there's the one that's got the tar in it, and it, yes, it tastes exactly like it sounds, but I kind of liked it. Um, anyway, so uh, I'm really excited to try these uh, King Monty and the rest of it as well. This all sounds just awesome. Thank you so much for sending that. I really appreciate it. And Custard really likes your box with the packing material in it. But you climbed right in there after you tried to eat Ari a couple of times. I don't know what's with that. Maybe Ari has uh, got a reason to think that your new medicine isn't so great. Okay, uh, just a couple more boxes. I know we're running a bit over schedule here, but... You know, I might as well, we might as well go through it and then it'll probably be just about time for me to heat up some food for the kittens upstairs for their next feeding. So let's do that. Okay.
Mr. A, DJ, faculty, cats, and kittens. Uh, in this beautiful pink envelope and inside, okay, put that back here. Uh, it's a Mother's Day card and it's very sparkly and it has some beautiful roses on it. I think roses, maybe not. Maybe they're carnations or something. Hard to tell. A mom is always in two places, in your thoughts and in your heart. So sweet. Uh, for all the mom cats at KA, mom, hope you know how much you mean and most of all how much you love today and always. Happy Mother's Day. Love, an indecipherable signature, but there's also a written note here, typewritten note, which says, here we go. Dear K.A., happy Mother's Day. I think this counts since the mama cats are always coming through K.A., right? Yeah, well, yes, and especially right now. I hope things are well by you. I love all the patterns of the fur of the cats, and Nibbles especially has unique coloring. Do you know what kind of cat Nibbles is? Well, I would just call her, uh, I would call her a Calabi, uh, Tor Torby? Uh, the thing, uh, not Torby, uh, Cal so she's technically a Calico because Calicos are what you call um, always female cats that have the patches of orange and black and white. So she has all three of those colors. I think by the book that would make her a Calico, but um, there's a there's a range that's that's actually determined by how much white they have. If you've got none at all, then you are definitely what they could call a torty, and it makes it more uh, sort of the 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 bits instead of being big blobs of color, they're all sort of mixed together very finely, uh, like you really stirred it up. Uh, and so that would be a torty, and they call it that because it's sort of a tortoise shell pattern uh, where the black and the orange are really really mixed. And then the interesting thing is, from what I'm told, the genetics say the more white gene that you add in, the more white that they have, the more that the black and the orange also become defined blobs instead of being all mixed in. So she's somewhere right in the middle, because if you look at her, you'll see she's got like a big, her back is like this mixed, like almost torty black and orange. But then around the rest of her, she's got some real blobs of orange and black and white. So a uh, little bit in between there, I guess. Uh, here in Florida, we just survived a very nasty storm. I had to finish out the day, drive home in large puddles of rain. Luckily, it did not take more than 40 minutes, but they closed work the next day. Wow, that must have been a lot of rain. However, the roads were clear by me, enough to run a few quick errands. Hopefully, we won't be getting any rain until maybe hurricane season. It was declared a state of emergency, so that's lots of fun. Not. Uh, we're also getting to near summertime when it gets hot. Building for work is 30 years old, so there are little quirks. At least when I get in... Oh, I see. The uh, building for work is 30 years old, so there are little quirks. At least when I get into my car and home, the AC works, so it's nice and cozy to get home and cool off. On to the box. Okay, we have treats for kittens, stacking measuring cups for the humans, toys for kittens, tissue paper for the tissue paper pit, and tea from Thailand. Enjoy. Hopefully the kittens don't party too hard, but they usually do, especially with the tissue pit of awesome love, Karen. Karen, thank you very much. I thought I had some more tissue here. I must have put it away somewhere. I don't know what's going on right now. Uh, okay. I thought we would put this box that custard's in. I guess there's a lot of tissue right here. I thought we'd maybe fill that up with tissue, but it's still full of custard, so let's just keep rolling for now. Wow, you really did send a lot. So not only the tissue paper you packed with, but we have some extra tissue paper here. I'll put that over there. Uh, we've got all kinds of treats. We have, uh, let's see here. These are some liquidy treats that you smartly put inside another bag in case they probably in case they popped on the way over, but they didn't. Frisky's Little Shakers, Frisky's Little Grillers, uh, oh, another Frisky's Little Grillers of a different flavor. Maggie's like, yes, why are you showing these to me if you're not going to feed them to me? And a different Little Shakers. Those are cool little food toppers, I assume. Mix it in a meal, toss it on top, try it as a treat. Yes, I bet they would like all of those. Now it's Maggie's turn in the box. Okay. All right, you guys. Good job. So, like, so this is what Belgium smells like. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what they're thinking. Okay, you also sent more treats than that. You sent all these Sheba pâtés with pictures of Ari on them. Uh, wonderful. We got a whole stack of those. And, oh, oh, hold it. Okay, there we go. Good stuff. 
We have a Boots and Barkley Pom Pom Cat Toys. These are adorable with a very fuzzy, they're almost like a, like a softer version of terry cloth on there. We have these little uh, fruity mice that are very similar to the ones that Logan loves to play fetch with that are always a hit for everybody. We have another Shiba Pate. We have, oh, these came in a mailbag last week too, and I was so impressed with them, I think, uh, didn't they? They're the jingly balls, except instead of being made of that plastic that I always step on and break every time, uh, these are made out of soft rubber. I can step on them all I want, and they, they look like they will survive it. What a great idea. Okay, um, more tissue paper. There we go. Digging right down. Uh, okay, more Sheba. We'll stack that up with the rest. The tea from Thailand. Oh, I see. Mulberry tea. Wow. And, oh, other mulberry tea. Chinese blend and Western blend. Oh, I see. Like two halves of uh, the yin yang. Very cool. I'm excited to try that out. Mulberry tea sounds uh, like it's my cup of tea. I can say that, right? These are so cute. Wait, are these the measuring cups? I don't know if that's what these are. They look like they could be, but then I don't know how to tell which measures they are. Uh, but they are nesting dolls, which I have always loved. Uh, and you can see they've got cute little doll faces and cute little uh, flowers on the bottom, sort of like the traditional style. And then inside, oh, they are. They say on the inside and the top, here's one cup. Oh my gosh, these are the cutest measuring cups of all time. Two thirds of a cup. <laughs> I love it. Oh, I love it so much. What a great idea. And then one third of a cup here in the top of this head. Plus we have the bottoms are a quarter cup, a half cup, and three quarters cups. What a clever idea. Oh my goodness, that is the cutest measuring cup set I have ever seen. Well, I completely love it. Thank you. Wow, thank you. I can't wait for that uh, to be put into rotation, I guess, in the kitchen. You also sent some fancy feast. Uh, classic pate chicken, which, yes, is what we have fed, and we're still going through some of it, so this definitely will go to good use around here. Thank you for that. Here we go. Uh, more tissue paper for our tissue fit. I'll put that right there. More, oh, these are different. These are fancy feast broths uh, in a delicate broth. Mm. Uh, so we have, I think that's what they all are, seafood bisque. Uh, Classic with tuna, shrimp, and whitefish in a decadent, silky broth. Oh, my goodness. Uh, there we go. Another of the same. We have classic with chicken and vegetables in a decadent, silky broth. And also creamy with wild salmon and whitefish in a decadent, creamy broth. Oh, I see. All right. These uh, look like the, the faculty will really enjoy those for some treat times. Thank you very much for that. There we go. Put those back away for now. And there's more. Oh, so much. This is wonderful. Thank you. Uh, Temptations Creamy Puree with Salmon. These are like the Temptations version of Churu, presumably. Each of these has four little uh, pouches in it. So thank you for those. Custard is like, I want to try some of this stuff. Write me out. I know you're hungry, buddy. We'll get you fed soon enough. Uh, is Teaspoon out still? What, I, what was that, a nod or a shake? <laughs> oh, he's right there. He's right there. Okay, I just, never mind. I'll, I'll take care of him. Getting, you know, he's so cute. With a, he's napping on the, the little rug in front of the door. <sighs> Adorable. Okay, also oven-roasted chicken greenies. Oh, these are great treats, especially for us to keep in the bedroom and hand out very sparingly. Um, fantastic. All right. Thank you so much for all of that. I love it. I especially love those uh, measuring cups, though. How cool. Maybe this is a, well, this is actually too small for a tissue pit. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to put all the tissue in it, though, and see what happens from there. Custard, what are you doing? You're shaking the letters? What are you up to, buddy? I know you're probably just trying to tell me that you're hungry, and I just said after mailbag, I'll take care of getting you and everybody else food, okay? Okay, you don't have to. You don't have to. We're getting close. Uh, okay, so here's another chewy box. This one says, Puddles Tiniest. I guess that would mean the new five kids, right? Um, but that's all it says, so let's find out. A lot of times, uh, like I said, whoop, 
Chewie doesn't let you leave a note, so I'm not sure. Oh, 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 it came apart. Oh, it definitely came apart. It still came apart. I see. I see. What a cute I idea. All right. <laughs> I don't see any kind of note. Um, but I get the idea of what it's all about. It is a heart, and it's supposed to make a little heartbeat that you put next to the little kittens to make them feel like they've got some comfort. Okay. I, I guess you guys probably won't be able to hear anything, but it does. It's got a little vibrating motor in it, and it does go in a perfect little heart rhythm. Uh, I'd say about 60 beats per minute, so like a human heart in that case, give or take. Um, yeah, I, uh, no, no, yes, yes, there is chicken upstairs in the closet. Um, so there we go. You turn it on, you turn it off, and it charges over USB. That's a great idea. I bet they could find some comfort in that. It'd be interesting to see anyway if they end up screaming and yelling a little bit less than they do otherwise. Uh, how fun. Thank you so much for that. That's, uh, I don't know who sent that, but I, I think it's something interesting to try out. I always love, especially techie stuff, I love, I love trying out new little things. And that's a fun one. So, all right, moving right along. Oh, this says it's from GA Girl. So I can guess what it might be, but let's find out. All right, in a gift bag, no less. Oh, Nibble's chasing away custard, and he's running for it, too. Uh, let's see here. Enjoy your gift, a special banana for Serenity from GA Girl. Well, I'd like to show everybody, just in case they're tuning in and have lived on Mars and don't know Yao Catnip Banana. Uh, let's see here. There we go. That's exactly what it is, the Yao Catnip Banana, a real classic. Uh, that I mean, we've, we've been getting these since even before Kitten Academy uh, for our cats because the Yao Catnip is very good stuff, like the Dr. Pussums, uh, both very, very good catnips. Um, and the Yao Cat and the Banana is still a favorite around here that almost every cat and mom cat gets thanks in part, or in big part, I guess, to GA Girl who keeps sending them. And this will make a beautiful endowment that we can just give in this bag. I think, I think she's already got a, a banana in her room. Uh, if not, I'll reconsider. But she definitely has uh, like a pineapple and some other stuff. And... I, I feel like she was really enjoying the catnip when she first arrived, but since then, um, I haven't seen her playing very much. She's, she sort of seems like she's got to get over some of these issues that she's got going on. Uh, at any rate, I think this will be wonderful in her endowment, and uh, she'll, she'll get a real chance to enjoy it. So thank you so much for that. GA Girl, it's so sweet of you to send those for all the mom cats. I know they appreciate it. Such a great catnip toy. Um, all right, here we have a big Chewy box, and all it says on the outside is to Kitten Academy. There's nothing in the uh, uh, address to tell us anything more about what it is or who it's from. Oh, oh, but I do remember getting a note about this. Uh, <laughs> I do remember getting a note about this. I just don't remember now where I saw the note. I guess it had to have been on Discord, but I probably saw it in my messages that pop up on my phone, and therefore I don't necessarily know who to look at here, do I? No. And now I'm going to click through a bunch of messages, and then I'll never get back to them, and now I'll be completely lost. <clears throat> hmm. uh, I don't want to just not give any credit for it, though. <laughs> uh, oh no, oh no, all my messages. Okay, uh, well, oh, there we go, pound cake. All right, pound cake, it's from you. Okay, good. Where is the message that I would have from you? Don't I have a message from you about this? I know I saw a message about this. Um, well... I know I saw a message about this, but I know I'm not going to find it right now. Uh, feel free to send me another one real quick, and when I'm done showing everybody what it is, I can read your message, I guess. Where on earth? Hmm. Well, I tried. I really tried. 
Okay. Anyway, uh, all right. Apparently, from pound cake, it, what we have here is uh, the boy, uh, the child. I'm sorry. Um, it's one of the uh, Star Wars cat bed, and it is the the little pod that like he uh, sort of lives in. Um, let's see, do I have to tear this open? I guess I do. And it is a it's a cat bed. That's uh, that's such a cool idea. <laughs> here we go. Let's see. It is uh, a little pod with a cushion. There you go. You can see how this works. Oh, look at that. It sits up just like this. And it's got his picture on there. And uh, yeah, the only thing it needs now is to fly. And it would be perfect, right? Just needs to float around like that. Uh, that's such a cute cat bed. It would be good for one of the boys, perhaps. Or um, anybody, really. And then also, we've got some additional Star Wars stuff here. We have three little mouse droids. That's so cute. Oh, it says Stormtrooper cat toy with catnip. All right, I guess I can see that. They are like little tiny Stormtrooper mice. So adorable. And then we have a set of uh, the Death Star, the Millennium Falcon, and a TIE Fighter. Oh, an Imperial TIE Fighter. Uh, you can tell, I guess. Um, no, that's not right. The Imperial one is the one with the pointy wings. So this is just a regular TIE Fighter. Okay, so we got the... The, yes, that, I'm, yeah, I think I got that right. Okay, and the Millennium Falcon and the Death Star. Um, that's really cute. Not to scale, of course. That's, that doesn't work at all. Um, but these are really cute Star Wars cat toys. I have so much Star Wars to catch up on now that Disney has really been diving into it. I've fallen way behind. I watched, I think, the first season of The Mandalorian, and then I kind of dropped off. So it's fun to know I've got all that to go to when I have some free time. Uh, I actually did just start watching... Uh, I think the first episode of Andor, um, but I don't know if I gave it my full attention, but I, I was liking how sort of it was sort of, um, the thing I like that, that they're doing so much of with these Disney Star Wars is making them more, uh, I don't want to use the word realistic, but you know what I'm saying, where they're more sort of on the ground, um, people, uh, you know, in their uh, you get a real feel for this being a, like a real place where people are living every day, as opposed to the original movies where it was really a sort of a space opera where you don't, you, you'd have trouble imagining some of these people having a life outside of the movies. Well, in some cases, I guess. Uh, but uh, yeah, anyway, it's, it's really fun. Um, and those are really cool cat beds. So thank you so much for that pound cake. I guess I should take a look and see if you had time to type up a note or if there was... Uh, if that's all there is to it. It's really cute. Oh, and I see the heartbeat came from Laura. Thank you, Laura. You say, uh, earlier in the week, the Tinies were so vocal, they needed something to soothe them. You could put, put it under a blanket. That makes good sense. But you also say that they're peaceful now. They may not need it, and we can save it for future use. I appreciate that. Thank you. Okay. Well, uh, one last box. And let's see what is in it. I think it's the last box, right? Yes, I didn't push anything out of the way. All right. Let's see what we got here. Just in time, too. I think I've done a little bit uh, too much talking. So <laughs> let's see here. Well, we got what appear to be two very flat beds of some kind. It actually says rug. I see. They look like little fur rugs. Yes, they are. Okay, I don't even have to open them up. They're white fur rugs. Wonderful. These are really fun. And you saw DJ was just trying these out for the kittens to have a surrogate mom, right? So that's pretty perfect. And then, bugging out, puzzle and play. It's so cute. It is a little puzzle box for cats that has ladybugs and leaves on it. And what you do is you put the treats underneath the ladybugs and the leaves and they have to move them out of the way to get to the treats. But it's also adorable. Uh, we've seen some sort of treat uh, toys before, but they all look very much like they were designed in a science lab. And uh, this one looks very artistic and beautiful. I really like it. So thank you so much for that um, random mystery person whom we don't know for sure. Or maybe that's the thing that's from Pound Cake and uh, you took credit before you knew what it was. Or maybe you sent both of them. I have no idea, literally no idea. But either way, it is greatly appreciated. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I see everybody is saying yes. I, we also watched Andor without giving it full attention. <laughs> okay. Well, that doesn't really say a lot for it, does it? 
Um, but uh, I, I did. I was interested. I just there's so much going on lately. Hard to keep up. Uh, yes, I see my Maya Bastet saying we should put the heartbeat under the fur rug for the tiny tinies. What a great idea. Uh, oh, message via Minion Lisa. I should have thought to check that. That's the way they usually come. I'm not too smart. Uh, where would those be, though? Now I got to look for that. Here we go. Now we got it. Okay. Uh, yes, it is. From Pound Cake. I just made an order on Chewy for the Kitten Academy mailbag. Since they don't have gift packaging, I wanted to let someone know it was intended for deployment. It's a baby Yoda pram. The little bassinet that he rides around in, cat bed, and some toys. Well, thank you so much, uh, Pound Cake. And I see, I knew I saw that message somewhere. Uh, and then I, I, I've really messed up my message history now trying to find it. So there's a whole bunch of people I just clicked through that probably now I'll never see their messages again. Oh, what a mess. Um, that's my fault. I'm really bad about this stuff. So I'll do my best to get caught up on that in due time, though. Um, thank you so much to everybody for everything. What a mess. I'm sitting here now in the middle of all of this stuff. I've caused a total disaster, which uh, I have to get cleaned up and start warming up some food and get those kittens fed yet again. Plus, maybe find some food for me. Did I eat breakfast? Oh, I did. I did eat a little breakfast. So he had chicken chicken. Okay. But then he's back down. But did everybody else get fed? Well, they're still eating. Oh, I see. So you're just keeping an eye on it. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. You really <clears throat> okay, good. But did he eat though? He... Oh, huh. Apparently he likes that litter box better, huh? Uh, did did he eat a lot? Did you say? Um, he, ate. he ate. Okay, good enough. All right. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Yesterday, DJ was really worried about teaspoon. She's like, he's he doesn't want to eat any of his chicken. He's not eating. And and then we found out later, of course, the thing that was wrong is that he'd learned how to get to the other food and had filled up on that when we weren't watching. So, uh, yeah, that little guy, um, you really got to keep an eye on him. Anyway, he's outside now. He's outside napping in the sun. How sweet. And boy, that orange just looks beautiful. I know I'm describing it to you and you can't see any of it. Uh, I'll try to get a photo to share on. At least I'll share on the Discord. But I do have to get all this stuff put away. Thank you so much to everybody for everything. You're wonderful people. And this is wonderful stuff for some great cats. Uh, and I think, well, you know what? I don't think anything. Let me get up and get this stuff put away. I'm going to put away the mic right now, too, so I don't make a ton of noise. So thanks again. Oh, wow, that mic fell down. Okay, uh, that sound must have been really weird because the mic was pointing every which way. i got to secure it better next time. Okay, things to learn.
Do we, do we not have sound now? I thought I switched it back on. Did I hit the wrong thing? No, I didn't hit the wrong thing. We should have sound. Maybe those are messages coming through old. <clears throat> Maybe you got to turn your sound back up now that we're not on the, the good mic. I don't know. Or maybe there is no sound. I don't know. Hmm. Maybe there was just nothing to hear for a minute. Do you ever think of that? Oh, okay. There is sound. All right, good. Good, good, good. Nothing for me to worry about then. Okay. Uh, well, uh, how to sort all this stuff. I guess we'll just sort it into upstairs, downstairs, and uh, deploying, right? Or, oh, upstairs, downstairs, kitchen. Oh, goodness. All right. Uh, let's see. So let's, this stuff can definitely go together. What if we say to the kitchen? I might take it right to the bedroom to snack on all the snacks, the people snacks. This one's got to go to the kitchen, though. No? I'm going to take this box so we can take the cookies out. Food and treats, oh, not this one. Food and treats in here. And yeah, not this one. These will both have to go to the real kitchen. Good food and treats. Uh, let's see, general use. I'm going to put that part of it before this would be a potential for my own. This is going to go to special things. Like I have a backlog of art to put away up there. I really have to get. Uh, I, by put away, I mean, you know, like have framed and then put out. Clear to get to that. Okay, some other stuff to go downstairs. Downstairs. I'm not too sure about this. No, oh, I'll have to put it downstairs. Then won't. <clears throat> I'm gonna give out a best mom cat and save the other two to give out in the later. Go downstairs somewhere. We sort it out. Got a huge amount of sorting to do downstairs later on. And I'm just going to add to it today. That's the plan. This is going to go upstairs. And that's going to go upstairs. So let's put those together. There we go. Maybe. I think the scooters are stopping by this afternoon to pick up some stuff for KA Con, which is very exciting, by the way. If, uh, if you haven't signed up for KA Con, you can do that on our Discord. Well, uh, you can't do it on our Discord, but you can find the links there. Um, uh, what was I going to say? I was going to say, oh, I think the scooter's going to stop by to pick up some stuff for KA Con. It's all in the basement. I'm going to be so embarrassed about what. A disaster it is. It's just, oh my goodness. Uh, because I still have not sorted any of the endowments for this class and uh, uh, also tons and tons of other stuff that have been displaced through the floods that I still haven't found the time to make that my project. So it's a, it's a real mess down there right now. I'm telling myself that it's okay because the mess is confined to the places that people don't often go or see, uh, but, uh, but I know it's not okay. <laughs> I know it's not really okay. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry, bud.
Okay, just gonna leash a few extra balls there. Yes. To label these. Oh, I took my pen away already. Somebody's up here in the pond having a nap.
Okay, let me take these down. That was mailbag. Thanks again to everybody for everything. Yeah, you're wonderful people, and you take such good care of these kittens. I know they would thank you themselves if they could. Uh, okay, I've got a lot to get done. I guess I'd better get on to it.